Hi, my kinder friends. So I know yesterday you got to talk about all the different topics you're experts on and you chose one to start writing your book about. Well, Miss D, Miss Conception, and Miss Spam, we all decided that we are experts at gift wrapping. So what I'm gonna do today is we're actually gonna go back to our mentor text, which is the text that will help us learn how to do this new kind of writing. We're gonna read this book to see how does this author, the expert of this book, how do they start their book? Should we read and find out? Let's read. Okay, how to make slime. And there's that table of content misconception talk to you about. Let's see what happens in the very first page. Getting started. What's runny like glue, but also hard like rubber? Slime! It feels like a solid and a liquid at the same time. Let's actually stop right there. So I noticed something. The author in this book, the way that they started their book is by writing something called an introduction. Can everyone say introduction? Well, that's what we're gonna get to do today. We're gonna practice writing an introduction and I'm actually gonna try to do what this author did. I noticed that in their introduction, they said, what's runny like glue, but also hard like rubber. So they asked a question to get you and I, the readers, excited. So let's start writing. Should we start writing? Okay, what you're gonna need everyone, grab your tools. You're gonna need to grab your writer's workshop packet, which has a bunch of blank papers. And you're also going to need to grab a pencil. So make sure you have a pencil and your writer's workshop packet. Okay. Alrighty, so I have my pencil and I have my writer's workshop packet. To do this, first you're gonna need to take off the paper clip and you're gonna choose what type of book you wanna write. What's really great about making your own book is you get to choose the style. Now, like this book, this book is a horizontal book because it's laying on its side. Well, you can definitely do that. You can grab a sheet of paper and make it horizontal, or you can make it vertical, make it standing up, or if you wanna get kind of creative, you can fold it in half and make your pages a little small mini book. It's up to you, cause it's your book. I think I'm gonna choose for our first book that we write together, I'm gonna choose a vertical book, so I'm gonna make it stand up. Now. For my page, I'm first going to think, what am I going to write for my introduction? Now, I remember that in this book, the author got the readers really excited by asking a question. So I'm not writing about slime, so I can't say what's runny like glue and also hard like rubber. No, that's not my topic. My topic is about wrapping gifts. So let me think, what's a question I can ask that would get the readers really excited? Hmm. Ooh. Well, I can ask, do you have wrapping paper? That could be a question I ask. Oh, actually, I have a better one. I think I'm gonna say, do you have presents to wrap? I think that will get my readers excited. Okay, I'm gonna put it down on So the I'm gonna write that on my paper. Now, I know, Miss Fam, I'm gonna be using a marker only so that you can see better. But for you, I definitely recommend using a pencil. That way you can erase if you make any mistakes. So for my introduction, I'm gonna write a question first to get my readers excited. So I'm gonna write, do you have a present to wrap? So let me write that. I'm gonna write it towards the bottom of my page because I think I'm gonna leave the top part so that I can include a picture, kind of like this book. It has words, but it also has photographs. For me, I'm gonna be drawing pictures since I don't have photographs. Okay, so let's write, do, finger space, because it's a new word, you, Finger space, have a present to wrap. And at the end, because I'm asking a question, I'm gonna use something called a question mark, which is a curve, a line down, and a dot. Let me read what I have so far. Do you have a present to wrap? Now, in this book, I'm gonna go back to my mentor text and let's see, what does the author do? The author says, what's runny like glue, but also hard like rubber? Slime, it feels solid and liquid at the same time. Oh, so what the author does is they ask a question and then they tell the readers what the book is about. 
that's what an introduction is. So now that I asked the question, I'm going to tell the readers what this book is going to be about. Do you have a present to wrap? I think I'm going to say, well, let me teach you how to wrap presents. Let me write that. Well, well, I, finger space, will teach you, finger space, how to, finger space, wrap, finger space, presents. Ooh, let's read what I have so far. Do you have a present to wrap? Well, I will teach you how to wrap presents. Ooh, does my reader know what we're gonna be talking about? Yeah, they do. So now I need to draw a picture to match my introduction. My introduction is talking about wrapping presents. So I think I'm gonna draw something that shows that. So let me grab some of my colors. You can grab markers or crayons. And I think I'm gonna maybe draw a box. And then maybe I'll even draw some wrapping paper. I'm gonna draw some green wrapping paper in a roll. Maybe this wrapping paper has stars on it. I'll also draw some ribbon because you might need some ribbon to tie it with. I might even draw a tape dispenser. Here's the tape and the circle, my tape dispenser. And then friends, good readers or writers always label their pictures too. I'm gonna label my pictures so that my readers know what everything is. So I know this is a box. I'm gonna label box. Can you help me label box? Grab the word box. Box, b, ooh, that's a b. B, ah, 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 x, box, tape, t, a, p, tape. This is wrapping paper. Wrap, in, in, ing, p, a, p, er. And this is ribbon. Grab the word ribbon. Ribbon, er, er, e, 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 b, b, e, 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 Ribbon. Now that I labeled it, I think I'm gonna grab my crayons and color in my pictures. And I'm gonna make sure I color in all the white spots, no empty spots. So it's high quality because I want to make sure all my pages look beautiful so that my readers want to read my book. So I'm coloring it using real colors. Like this box is brown. So I'm going to color it brown. Coloring inside the lines, no white spots, and you don't have to rush. You can take your time. There we go. So writers, that's what you're gonna do today. Miss Jeff's not done yet, I'm gonna work on So it. don't forget, in your introduction, try doing what this mentor text did. The author asked a question, and then the author told the readers what they're gonna teach you about. So that's what you're gonna do for your book. If you're writing a book about how to skateboard, you might ask a question like, do you like going fast? Well, I'll teach you how to skateboard. If you're writing a book about how to play Pokemon, you might say, do you like Pikachu? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to play Pokemon. So don't forget, today, ask a question and then tell your readers what you're gonna be writing about in your book. That's your topic. All right, writers, have fun writing your introduction. We're looking forward to seeing your how-to books.